To begin with our exercise, we set up a new project. Under Project and New Project. Now we adjust the resolution and project scale for our exercise example. You can change the path under which you save your project files. For our example we use the folder mapping training. And we name our project. Accept the settings. OK. On the left you see the project tree and the register cards, project, mapping and rectification. To load our to be rectified image, we select original images, use right click and click on load image. In the folder of our exercise mapping training, you will find the folder image rectification where you have listed several examples for image rectification. We start with tower parallel line. You select the picture with the inscribed measures. In the following dialog you can choose a rectification type for your image. Rectification with rectangle, parallel lines, distance, net, or over rotation and scaling. We select parallel lines. We can see our image we wish to rectify and the measures that were taken on the object. You will need these for a true to scale rectification. With our first step, we will define two parallel vertical lines and two horizontal lines on our object. You start with the draw function vertical lines. We measure on the rectification plane two vertical lines. We switch to the two horizontal lines and measure on our object two horizontal lines. The measures and the horizontal and vertical lines don't have to be linked. They can be measured separately on our facade. In the second part we read in the measures for the vertical length and the horizontal length in the window on the right. Width 5.15, height 7.54. Afterwards we use measure tools to enter the length in the image where we extract its information. With left click, measure start point and end point. We switch to the vertical measurement tool, start point and end point. After you have completed all three straps, draw two vertical and two horizontal lines read in the measures and at last entered said measures in the image, a thumbnail appears. Above you can see in the chart the quality of your original image. Using the applied measurements the software calculates approximately the image scale. That means with a resolution of 200 dot per inch the image has a scale of about 1 to 40. With user defined, one can adjust resolution and scale as desired. After that, you are shown the size of your picture in centimeter and pixel. 
we click on Rectification. The software calculates a new image in TIFF format and saves it in the project folder. We activate show result and are presented with the new rectified image. Now you can check the validity of the rectification by using the tool Measure Control Lines. Therefore, you should test at least two additional measurements, one vertical and one horizontal, to be on the safe side before starting with quantity surveys. If you are not content with your result, you can return to your original picture over Show Distorted Image. Now you can correct individual measures or draw lines a second time. To limit the evaluation area, select the identically named function and draw with the polygon tool the area that should be included in the rectification. You can see the change in the thumbnail. You draw the lines with left click and close the polygon with right click. We start the rectification again. Take a look on the result and at last click on transfer to map. The rectified image is now integrated in our mapping project. As you can see, the picture was inserted on our paper area automatically. On the project tree, the node image layers, you see our picture listed. We select layout, paper area. With the function adjust automatically, you are shown the actual size of the picture in centimeter according to the project scale. Next, we choose a paper size for our mapping project. OK. Over layout, frame. You can define a frame and the distance to the paper area. The frame is linked to the paper area at all times. If you change the size of your paper area later on, the frame will change accordingly to the borders of the paper area. We activate display frame. OK. We switch to the register card mapping and see an empty mapping project. To add your first mapping classes, we have to open the class management and can create new mapping classes here. We click on create now, name our class, select a mapping type, the color of the hatching, the background and the opacity. When you have already completed a mapping, you can import mapping classes of previous projects with mapping template. In the folder mapping training, you have been given two project examples that can be used for this exercise. You can see the already created mapping classes and groups. Import. We have now listed our mapping classes. Apply. To start your mapping now, select a class. On the right you can see the signature of this mapping class. Now you can use the drawing tools to begin your mapping.